Uh, well, what we're going to do today is this is a dedication service of a family saying that they want to raise their child um, to be a follower of Christ. And they are going to need help and prayer. And Daddy actually is going to read a letter that Madison is going to read when she gets older and gets saved. This is a letter that they're going to give to Madison. And so, can we get a mic real quick? I'll hold it for you, Dad. You to Dear Madison, God gave us a special gift when he gave us you. This is a day that we make a promise to you and to God in front of our family and friends. The promise that Mommy and Daddy want to make is that we are committed to setting an example for you of how to be a Christ follower. Mommy and I love Jesus very much, and we want to live our lives following his example. We promise to live each day teaching you constantly about God and his promises, from the moment we wake up until we close our eyes to go to sleep. We believe that you are a unique and treasured gift from the Lord, and it's our prayer for you that you will grow into a young lady full of joy which comes from Christ and his salvation. We pray that as you develop friendships and journeys through your life, you'll be able to extend grace into the lives of everyone you meet. We pray that you will have joy and laughter in your life, that you will not live in fear, but in trust because of the truth that guides you. You bring us so much joy, baby girl. Our goals for your life are to teach you about Jesus, his love for you, your spiritual gifts, and love for the church. You're an incredible daughter, and your laugh, your smile, and your fun-loving spirit make our lives more fulfilling. We never understood just how much we were missing out on. The thing that we love in the amount that we do is unbelievable. It's shown us so much more about God's love for us. Whether you're smiling, crying, laughing, or pooping, we love you more than each second that passes. It's the same for us when it comes to our relationship with God. No matter our faults, God loves us perfectly. So today we are dedicating you, Madison Bailey Maselli, as a child of God. We dedicate our lives to teaching you how to live according to God's word. For we are God's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Ephesians 2. Church. Awesome. Baby now is going to get to read this. Baby, baby girl, you're so sweet. She's going to get to read this on the day of her uh, salvation. She will get this from her mommy and daddy. And she'll know that her mommy and daddy have loved her and prayed for her and every step of the way. For her. Here is a Bible for her. It's got some little awesome cool things that y'all can go ahead and get her in the Word. That'd be awesome. So mom and daddy, we're going to do this. Um, we're going to do a little commitment service, and all you got to do is say, we do. So very simple. It's awesome. All right. So Chuck and Stephanie, as you love God, one another, and all others, you will model before Madison a wonderful love for God, and she will want for herself. Chuck and Stephanie, by coming forward today before God and His people, do you hereby declare your desire to dedicate yourselves and your daughter to the Lord? All right, church, I need something from you guys. As a body of Christ, we are to encourage, to partner, and to pray with this sweet family, as we do with all families. Would y'all stand with me? And I want you guys to commit through the area that God is working in your life that you will be with this family, pray for this family, love on this family, encourage this family that one day this, this little girl, she's going to be in, a, in children's ministry and youth group and come up through that. Some of you guys will be her teachers. Some of you guys will be her supporters. And I just want you guys to commit today to praying for him. If you will pray for her and this sweet family, will you say we do? We do. We do. Awesome. Let us pray. And before we do that, I want to give this over to Mr. Pastor Rick Dunn. Just the old dog here in the young club. Okay, I think I'll make that. Okay. <laughs> Sixteen years ago, I got the privilege to baptize this man. And when I baptized the dad, he baptized his wife, his oldest son, and his son. These two boys are like my sons. They've been my, my youngest son's best friend, Chuck and him. School together, grew up together, got married about the same time. Their babies are just a few days apart. And it's just so joyful to me to get to have this privilege to see what God does in people's lives. Can I have her just a minute? Oh, damn. You look like my granddaughter. You've got big blue eyes. I'm glad you don't look like your grandpa. Anyway, <laughs> let's just pray. Father God.
God, what a precious, precious gift. I thank you so much for Chuck. I thank you so much for Stephanie. I thank you so much for this precious baby girl. And I pray, Father God, that all the days of life that you will guard them and protect them. Father, make straight their paths. Give them your peace and eyes, all provision and all peace and glory. Father God, I pray for your covering over them. And I pray, Father God, that they might experience life that is full of the abundance that you give to your people. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. 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 Church, read your worship guide. And Maddie and I need to tell you something. Love life, have good days, keep your tongue from evil and your speech from deceit. Have a great 4th of July. Thank you all, CR, for being with us today. It's been an awesome celebration.